Her story is courageous and horrifying. Nadia Murad was one of the thousands of Yazidi women and children abducted by ISIS in Iraq. She survived rape and torture in captivity. ISIS murdered her family persecution for being an ethnic minority. Murad escaped and was later awarded the Nobel Prize in 2018 for speaking out about her experience. And when she visited the White House this week, President Trump didn't seem familiar with her story. Watch as Murad pleads with the president to help the Yazidis. I'm from Iraq and uh, I'm, I cannot say my family is there in the jail because when ISIS attacked us, no one protected us. After 2003, we started to, to disappear from our area, from our homeland. Uh, when ISIS attacked us in 2014, they killed six of my brother. They killed my mom. They took me to captivity with my 11 sister-in-law, with all my sister and my nieces. Our home is, is destroyed. We come to here, we go to Europe, we to, go to Arab country that ISIS did this. Uh, everyone saw that and we uh, appreciate. And you were Vice, captured? You yes, were captured. Vice President, he helped us a lot, but now today you, you can solve our problem. Now there is no ISIS, but we cannot go back because Kurd Kurdish government and the Iraqi government, they are fighting each other who will control my area. This happened to me. They killed my mom, my sixth brother. They left behind them. Where are nine, they now? They killed them. They are in the mass graves in Sinjar. And I'm still fighting just to live in safe. Yeah. Please do something. And it's not about one family. I or, know the area very well you're it's, talking about. It's about half a million. It's, it's about tough, the whole yeah. community. OK. We're going to look into it very Thank strongly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, and you had the Nobel Prize. Yeah. That's incredible. But they gave it to you for what reason? Make it explain. For what reason? For that. After all this happened to me, I didn't give up. I, came, I, I, I make it clear to everyone that ISIS raped thousands of Yazidi women. This one was first time the woman from Iraq, she get out and spoke about what happened to her. Oh, really? And Is that right? It's fi That's it's the first, first time. time. And it's, so you escaped? I escaped, but I, I, don't, I, I don't have my freedom yet because you, you, you didn't see any ISIS in, in court. ISIS are, we don't know if they killed every day, everyone, if they are in, in jail, but we know we have 3,000 Yazidi women and children, including my niece, my nephew, my sister-in-law. Three years ago, she called us. She said, I'm in Syria, and now we didn't know anything about it. Let me look. We're going to look. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Now, President Trump met with nearly two dozen people like Murad who had survived religious persecution.